Okay, now we're going to look at the loop browser, which is a very powerful feature if you're working with loops. There's two ways to get there. One is pressing on F6. The other is to go up to Media, left-click, go down to Open Loop Browser, and you're going to see the sounds you have set up in there currently. Now, if you don't have anything set up yet, but for instance, let's say you own Guru or another program which has loops, or you have loops set up in a folder. Simply, you would left-click on Browser, which opens this screen. You can find which hard drive it's on, which folder, and just simply click on that folder. Cubase will count them and load them in. We've got a few set up here. I'm going to show you how to audition them and then bring them into your project. Now, let's say you've already got music set up. You can go down to the right corner here where it says Sync Domain Transport. Go over one, play in Project Context, which does both. It'll sync it to the tempo of that tune. And when you hit play over here, it'll actually play it in relationship to the other tracks you already have, if you have any. Simply click play. Here you click stop. Pause is here. And cycle enables you to endlessly play the loop. The length of the loop, of course, stops at the end of this screen. Cycle enables you to continue to play it endlessly. You also can control the volume here, the preview level. 